Welcome back to Cooking with Ash. Join me in the kitchen today and let me show you how to prepare these delicious soft stuffed bagels. Your kids will thank you. Even grown-ups enjoy them. They make a perfect snack. If you're new to the channel, I welcome you and I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button. To all my subscribers, sending you my love, gratitude and thanks. To prepare our dough, these are the ingredients I will be using. I have some all-purpose flour milk oil water and the milk and water is lukewarm i'm using a pack of yeast and that's the fast rising one you can use the dry active if you would like but you'll just have to bloom it i have here some sugar salt and two of um egg whites do not discard the yolk because we're gonna use the yolk in this recipe so let's prepare the dough let's get the, the dough going to my bowl, I'm gonna start adding my ingredients. In goes my milk, water, oil, my sugar, egg yolks, I'm sorry, egg whites. <laughs> and I'm gonna go in with my yeast. And it's one pack of yeast, so it's like seven grams in this pack. And I'm going to go ahead and mix everything in. I save the salt because I'll add the salt when I add the flour. You know, um, salt usually kills the yeast, so I don't want to kill yeast. And because I'm using the um, rock fast um, rising yeast, I don't have to add, um, you know, let it sit and bloom. If it was a dry active yeast, then I would have to worry about that. I'm going to make sure everything is well mixed in. Now I'm going to gradually add our flour. I'm going to add half of it and work it in and then i'm going to add the other half i'm going to add the salt now and go in with my favorite tool and that is my finger you see it's very wet and sticky so i'm going to gradually add the flour and bring this dough together so I went ahead and transfer my dough to my surface and I am kneading it. I've been kneading this now for about three minutes. So when you finish bringing your dough together, it's going to be very sticky. That's totally fine. Go ahead and work it until you get to this consistency. Do not add any dry flour to it. Just add a little bit of oil to your hand if it's sticking too much. It shouldn't be your dough shouldn't be sticking to your hands anymore that's when you know it's needed to the correct consistency and it shouldn't be sticking to your surface as you can see it's coming off my surface totally fine here no issues so what I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna go ahead transfer back my dough to my bowl and let cover it and let it double in size and then we're going to proceed with the next step so there you have it. You can go ahead and add a little bit of oil to it if you would like. I'm just gonna oil it up a little bit. Cover this with a tea towel, let it double in size, and then we're gonna proceed to the next step. While our dough is resting, I'm going to go ahead and prepare our filling. These are the ingredients I'm using. I have here some parsley, cilantro, onion, scallion, or shallot some ginger and garlic paste and all my dry seasoning. Everything I'm using will be listed in the description box below with measurements for your convenience and of course some ground beef. So let's start frying everything up. My oil, I'm gonna go in with my ground beef. I'm gonna go in with all my seasonings that I had cut up on my cutting board. Add it all here. We're gonna start to build flavor to our ground beef. 
That's right. Season your ground beef. Make sure you season your food. Next, we're going in with our dry spices. Yum. And I'm just going to mix everything in and let this fry up nicely. Ground, ground beef is looking nice and flavorful. As soon as uh, most of the water is observed out of it, it's finished. You do not want to overcook this because you're gonna be stuffing it into the dough and it's going to be cooked further so you don't want dry, um, tough meat. This is all um, cooked off, like most of the water is observed out of it. Go ahead and turn your stove off. Take it off from your stove and let it sit um, until it cools down and our dough is ready. I will be using my ground beef to stuff these bagels and some cheddar cheese. I forgot to grab the ketchup. I'm also going to be using some ketchup. So let me grab that and we're going to proceed to the next step. So this is what our dough is looking like after resting for about an hour. It double in size. I'm going to go ahead and punch this down. I love to punch the dough down. One thing I forgot to mention to you guys about the dough your dough might need more liquid than what i use or less depending on the flour you use for this recipe i use the five rose flour i love to use that you know that's what i use for all my baking and making roti and stuff like that and then again the temperature you live in affects the flour you know so you have to be mindful with your liquid this is what it's looking nice i'm gonna go ahead and make it into a nice dough ball and i'm going to portion this out use a knife to cut whatever you have on hand i'm trying to get even dough balls here but if you've been with me for a while you guys know how i cut <laughs> so not straight so i'm gonna divide this into three portions hmm some might be bigger than some but i have to fix that and now I'm going to go in and start making balls like that. If it's too sticky, just lightly dust your hand with flour and go ahead and roll these into dough balls. Like that. And we're going to keep repeating the process until we use up all this dough. So I have all my dough balls rolled out. I cover it with a tea towel, you know, to save it from the draft, like the air. This, I grabbed the ketchup, of course, we need our ketchup here. And I'm gonna proceed to start rolling this out. I just lightly floured my surface and you wanna roll this out as thin as you can get it. <laughs> and as wrong as you can get it, I'm not gonna promise wrong, but let's do that. So here I have my guy in a map roll out. Just kidding, guys. You know, it's not wrong, it's square, whatever. It's still gonna do the trick that I want. So I went in here with my ketchup. You don't wanna add too much of the ketchup, you know, just enough to spread it out. Thin layer of it. Then I'm gonna go in with my ground beef. And you can use any meat here. You can use chicken. You can choose not to use any, no meat at all. Just do it veggie, straight up veggie. Or cheese alone. You know, whatever you want to do here. The possibility is endless. And you're just going to sprinkle it on like if you're doing a pizza. And I'm going to go in with my cheddar cheese. Again, you don't have to use cheddar cheese. You can use any cheese you like. And we're going to start to roll this up. Of 
quick and simple like if you're doing a big round um, pinwheel and what I'm gonna go ahead and do this end like if you're oiling roti I'm gonna open it and push the other end in tuck it in like that so it looks like you have a nice donut go ahead press everything you know out shake everything out so all over have the filling and that's it I'm gonna put it in my tray now this is what they're looking like I'm going to go ahead and set a timer for 20 minutes let them pull for 20 minutes then I'm going to preheat my oven and we're going to start to bake these off after resting for 20 minutes this is what it's looking like I'm just setting that one neat um, remember the egg yolk that I told you guys to save we're going to use that now to base the top of these so we're going to paint them up like Picasso nice and neat and I have my oven preheated um, 375 degrees and that's Fahrenheit. And that's Rio being bad this morning. Rio say good morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint these up. A brush on your egg yolk on it. And then I'm gonna pop it into my oven and I'm going to come back and show you what these delicious babies will be looking like. Actually, I'll have Justin is home, so I'll have him taste this for you guys today. Miss Atiana is at school. Here you have it, our finished product. Look how beautiful it's looking, our stuffed bagel. Mm. I am drooling, it's smelling divine in the kitchen. And I have Justin gonna be our taste tester today because sissy is in school so he get the job so go ahead justin oh feels nice oh look at that it's so soft i'm gonna take this piece and look at that there's filling throughout the entire bagel That's, I think Rio wants a piece. Rio, do you want a piece? It's really good. It's, it's really, really good. really good. Yeah. Like Let's see ketchup. inside. I like the ketchup and it's the really sweetness. like adds the sweetness. Yeah. To it. So this reminds me of a guy in a pinwheel. Remember when I made pinwheel? But instead of doing one big wrong um, pinwheel and cut it up, you can do it this way. So we could always say it's um, a stuffed bagel Guyanese pinwheel. Whatever you guys want to call it. This is our creation and we give it the name stuffed bagel. But look at that. Bring it in close. Let's see inside. Look at that. So moist, juicy and fluffy at the same time. So you can't go wrong. These would make perfect snack for the kids, you know, um, even for lunch for school. So finish it up. Finish up the video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you make all this because it's really good. Thank you guys so much for joining us in the kitchen. I hope you try this recipe. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends and family. Love you all. You got blow them on kiss, Tatiana, and us blow kiss. <laughs> <laughs>